Hi guys and welcome to the monthly reading for Scorpio for February. <clears throat> so as usual, this is going to be a general reading. Um, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If you feel like you don't connect with the messages coming through here, you can check your other signs. Um, Moon, rising, Venus, whatever you connect with. Um, if you're a cusp sign, you can check out that neighboring sign. Um, but I hope there is something here for you. So if you've been watching my monthly readings before, you might notice that things look a little different this time. Um, I'm using a lot of different decks, but I have separate sections for the main message, a love message, and like hazards message, and then I will close it off with um, close the reading off with some general advice uh, regarding the whole spread. So, any likes, comments, you know, uh, regarding this new system, very welcome. So I know to either keep this up or go back to the way I did things before. And if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. I would appreciate that as well. I think that's all. Let's get to the reading. I had some very interesting cards popping out during the pre-shuffle that I do. cards. Nothing, nothing alarming. So let's see. February first Scorpio. Well, there would be one card that came out during pre-shuffle. Patience. Um, traditionally, that would be temperance. But in this deck, it's patience. devil is well it's the star it's the Aquarius card that's uh, I just called myself a slippery devil hmm more no yes one more you have maybe put on hold and you're not exactly happy about that I mean who is um, maybe testing your patience a little bit but you know it's going to be worth it because it's going to be something that you are really looking forward to I'm really focusing on the third eye here on the high priestess. It feels like it might be something completely separate. Um, might be very specific to like either one person or a very small, small group of people um let's see i i'm going to clarify that in a second mm. 
looking at these three cards, I mean, we have three women and they all look basically like they're holding their breath. And funny enough, we have the Three of Cups here, which has um, three women dancing. But also possibly kind of stuck in a pose situation. Just feels like very... What's the word? Stagnant energy. And in the traditional imagery, we have the Temperance and the Star. They are both cards that have like women pouring water from either one pot to another or one pot to a pond ish. Um, and in here, they're just they're just still. They're not doing anything. And the Queen of Water. I mean, this always looks to me like she's holding her breath anyway. Um, this could be your energy. It just feels like that. Um, water sign. Um, but it's also, it's like she's in control of her emotions and she's not showing how annoyed she is but it's like barely like she's like I got this I got this I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go clarifying this high priestess right away because it is strong here the six of swords mm -hmm. And we have the Illumination, which is a special card in this deck. And that's, like, I was just about to say, like, um, as all water signs, um, Scorpio is also very intuitive, very kind of... <laughs> um, someone said that it's like the FBI agents of the uh, signs. You just know. So whatever you feel like you just know, um, I'm saying trust that because I mean I'm just focusing on her like this there there's this um round thing on her third eye. It's really pulling my focus. It's not usually what I focus on in that card, so it's kind of interesting. We have the Six of Swords. Which is kind of, um, it's like a departure to the unknown. And then we have the Illumination, which has actually a question mark on top, so it's really... You might be getting some messages if you are that kind of like spiritual um, involved with um, spirit guides um, of any kind. We also have the King of Cups falling out, which we have a couple here. We have the King and Queen of cups hard fan right now on the bottom of the deck um, if you believe um, to soulmates twin flames any kind of that sort of thing That's kind of the vibe I'm getting here, that you might be getting like in touch with 
each other. Um, like I said, this feels very specific to someone or a group. Um, not necessarily a part of the, the general message here. But whatever it is that your intuition is telling you, possibly about a person, uh, whether good or bad, might not necessarily be a love um, situation. Could be you don't feel good about a colleague at work. I would trust your intuition, whatever it's telling you. Um, your intuition is telling you to go. Just go. be as simple as if you're walking on the street and you feel like you should turn that way then go for it because there might be something important for you there or someone let's get this started cards that are not majors or court cards and with the hermit and the judgment it really feels like something is not active right now um, but you are waiting for something to begin the ace of pentacles could be something that is really um, material physical um, like actually in the physical wor world uh, starting Let's see the temperance patience definitely not something that's just like um, a whim something that you really you've thought it through you have the tower for the patient so another court um not court card um major on it and there's one card that has been on my mind since the pre-shuffling it's from a different deck it's from the um advice section uh transmute just keeps coming up in my mind all the time and that tower kind of really reflects that again I'm trying to kind of get the sense of like what it could be that you're waiting but as usual, um, Scorpio readings are always kind of tough for me. Yeah, just not being happy with the situation right now and wanting something new. But it's like you know you gotta wait, and you are doing the waiting, even though it kind of really grinded you there's like this forced patient energy it's like really like mm, fine I'll wait but you can be you can be sure I'm not gonna be happy about it When, when that thing, 
when it's finally time, you're gonna like go and not look back. And as I said that, we have the Strength and the Wheel of Fortune coming out. Again, more Major Arcana. It's... Eight different Major Arcana right now. Um... So it's like as soon as that wheel turn, you're you're in, you're going, you're done. Whatever it is, I have no clue what it could be. It's probably different for all of you. Um, like I was saying, Scorpio Scorpio readings are always kind of confusing for me. I don't know what it is, but something in the Scorpio energy just does not make it clear for me. Even though I am a Scorpio moon, it should help, but it doesn't. Let's see, love message. We have the page of wands. So you could be dealing with a fire of uh, sign. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, or just kind of a passionate thing. We have the Ace of Pentacles again, so maybe you are waiting for someone. Maybe it's all connected. Uh, maybe this is your, we have the Three of Cups again. Maybe this is that thing that you're waiting on maybe you're waiting on someone maybe they're not available right now and you're just like twirling your thumbs like they're 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 gonna get there because i want them and they're gonna be mine and once they are mine you know it's game time um Page of Wands, it's really kind of bringing the passion here. So, of course, definitely doesn't need to be a fire sign. <laughs> the Three of Cups again. Um, and again, we have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. hate to say it, but it really feels like you might be stealing someone else's person. Or not stealing, exactly. Um, it's not like you're going around doing love spells, hopefully. Um, but, I mean, we have three of cups that could indicate three people involved. And we have the devil here, so it's kind of like going around sneaky, maybe a little nasty good also indicate a capricorn okay but we have so many major arcana here to list all the signs that we have on the table it's better not um if you're not being nasty stealing someone else's partner um it looks like whatever this is, either your current relationship or possibly something new, it's going to turn out great because, you know, it's party. It's a party. Getting along, having fun, enjoying each other's company. There's a lot of passion. Very solid uh, foundation. We have the Ace of Pentacles here. But I, this... I saw this before and it's really like telling like there might be some sneaky sneaky business going on here and it might be you
You might have your eyes on someone who is currently not available. They could be in a relationship and you're like, I know that's going to end badly and then I'm going to grab that person for myself. But I'm not going to make a move until they... I mean, that's kind of... That's nice. I like that. Um, you're just kind of... You're just kind of just waiting and watching. Or are you? We have a feeling as kind of um, what kind of action to take right now. And really have that I mean it's not very active thing to do feeling it's really just like kind of feeling out the situation making sure you have all the information not doing anything that is not completely 100% planned out before you act Okay, let's move on to the hazards. What or who is coming to ruin your February or try to? Outside influences that might be this month. Ace of Wands. See if we get something more. Okay. Yeah, okay, well that's too many. These guys, these guys wanna talk. That always happens. Well, this one was also out during the pre-shuffle, so... Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see, we have the Ace of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Five of Swords. So it could be dealing with an air sign, uh, possibly older or that's not exactly the feeling I'm getting here, but it's a king. Um, someone who either should be older and know how to behave, but is really immature or likes to portray themselves as being all that but is actually just a clown um could be trying to cause some issues in your life with this ace i immediately got this idea that it's like someone tries to come they come on strong and they are dead set on doing some damage. Not necessarily meaning harm, but just, like I said, clowning, like making a mess just to mess around. And obviously you're not in a mood for any of that. Um... So I'm really getting this, like, you're not going to like that. Someone is coming on, like, strong. Um, creating situations for you. Five of Swords. 
Now, somehow I'm linking it to... Earlier I was saying about work. So it could be someone from work or like, um, I don't know, school, more of a professional situation where you do have a sort of established rules and um, image to uphold and someone is just really making like a fool of themselves and um, with the five of swords here I'm I'm sensing like if you don't engage they're gonna fall on their own face okay it's gonna backfire badly they're gonna try to make you look bad but in the end you're you're gonna build be your cool self and um, they're gonna be the ones hurt. So my advice is if someone tries to come playing pranks on you or something like that, just like turn your back and walk away. How about something more internal? Internal issues for February. What to kind of focus on, work on, what can be haunting you. <laughs> Nothing. I'm just drawn to this uh, queen here. And I mean, it, it, in this sense, like, you're so cool. Um, not, maybe cool is not the right word. Um, so collected. You're not letting anything bother you. Not inside, not outside. Interesting. I don't think I've ever had this card before. Let's see what it says. So these, uh, this deck has um, assigned um, stages of grief and this one is acceptance, so it's not too bad. Again, very calm and collected. Accepting our own beauty in size, color, age, and fat. There is no perfection that is worth enough. There is imperfection as proud as the heavens. What do we see when we look in the mirror? Do we see something we like or something we dislike? Something we care? Or something we are slave of? I wonder what feelings the words curvy, cute, chubby, fatty, rounded, arouse within us, if a smile or a distaste or recognition. The quest for beauty is not an empty quest, even if beauty is not as deep as the ocean. Still, when we shine, our world becomes brighter, but we will always feel naked in front of the stars. We should just learn not to blush. And stand proudly. I mean, like I was saying, it looks like you are pretty calm and collected, and nothing's gonna bother you. It's um, I don't see any issue here. I mean, this is, um, it's like you know your worth, and it shows. You know you need to wait for something. Um, but if you wait a little bit, you're gonna get exactly what you want. And you know you're gonna get it. There's no, am I good enough? Or um, do I deserve this? Or whatever. It's like, that's mine and I'm gonna get it. Good for you. Let's see, advice. Although, I don't think you need it. The 
creator. Mm -hmm. That was also in the Cancer <clears throat> reading. Where it was very imbalanced actually. And we have Soul Work. Mm. Destruction. The bottom of the deck. Kind of a kind of like the tower, so it's like leaving out what does not serve you anymore. Um, the creator here. There is such um pride here, and. It's kind of, if you don't check that um, or keep that in check, it might kind of tip over to a very imbalanced creator um, energy. Creator finds us when we need to move the raw and pure energy in our body and allow it to mis physically manifest. To be with creation is to simply interpret what that which is already within us. There are no rules for creation. The balanced creator has lots of energy and finds inspiration easily. Others may perceive them as easily moving to, a new, to new things, but in reality, they are grounded enough to show up to one idea in order for it to manifest. And clearly you have one thing that you want to manifest. Um, the imbalanced part here says they may have an inflated ego and have a larger than life disposition. And that is like kind of because the creator is a very, it's creative, it's nurturing. You have these ideas you want to manifest and it's a very positive energy. When it gets imbalanced, it gets almost destructive. Like we had the destruction um, on the bottom of the deck. And... I think I'm just kind of trying to warn you not to tip over that point. Um, what I see here is very positive. Not letting anything... Not annoy you, but get to you. Even if something annoys you, you're like, I'm better than that. I'm not gonna engage. It's very positive. Just make sure it doesn't, especially here if you are interested in someone who is not available right now. Like if you, if you want someone who is in a relationship, it doesn't seem like you are actively doing something for that, but there is this element of pride, like, I'm going to get what I want, and that could possibly tip over. Soul work is more this part, I feel. <clears throat> really, the whole trust in your intuition. Um... Let's see if there's something... Sometimes while we are navigating our day-to-day -day life, we can lose sight of our highest purpose in this earthly realm. This card asks you to once again check in with your soul purpose. It is not possible to be derailed from your soul path no matter where you are, but clarity does help uh, us show up for it in a more intentional way. It also... <clears throat> It also says here, 
your soul has lived many times and in those lives circumstances may change but your soul has awakened and will continue to awaken to its highest calling and that's kind of what i was trying to say maybe i didn't actually say it, but like with the third eye here with the high priestess is really kind of a spiritual card we also have this illumination um which is like taking it again to a higher level the six of swords could be um this separation of physical and spiritual um kind of a pathway between those um so at least some like a group of you could work on that do a little soul searching um maybe all of you if that feels like something you should do or like if it if you think you got that covered, then you just keep doing what you do. Embrace nature. Okay. Get out. Go for a walk. Look at pretty flowers. The answers are in your dreams. This is like in every other reading that I do. Again, connecting with your intuition. Sometimes we get answers in our dreams. Um, we're just, you know, if not dreaming as in sleeping, um, just messages. Embrace change. So we have two embrace cards here. Embrace nature and embrace change. Live in the present on the bottom of the deck. Embracing change should not be a problem for Scorpio. I just connected to this whole... Um, you're waiting for something, you're clearly waiting for something that is making you kind of pissed off because things are not moving. Um, but it's linking with the living in the present, embrace change. It's like sometimes change is not immediate and it takes way too long. Um, but while we wait for things to start moving, we need to remember to kind of live in the now as well, instead of just waiting for that thing. And when this happens, I will do this and that. But like now, the only thing we can affect is the present moment. That's a good thing to remember. If you want to change something in the future, you can start by changing your present moment. And that is your reading, Scorpio. I hope you got something out of this. And I hope you have a very good February. If you can deal with the waiting, it looks pretty good. Just walk away from the clowns and you'll be fine. So any, any feedback regarding this new system, I would love to hear from you. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon in another video. Bye.